NVIDIA's CEO has just fired some shots at the entire automotive industry. Tesla stock performance over the past six months, its stock price has gone down by 27%. But if we're to take NVIDIA at face value and to assume the CEO of NVIDIA is correct, then this all could be about to change in a very drastic way. It doesn't matter that many people now hate Elon Musk. I don't think that's going to be relevant because artificial intelligence for self-driving, well, the game could be over. The CEO of NVIDIA, he's come out and just said, you know what, the way Tesla is developing its full self-driving, it's the only way, it's the correct way, it's the way that everyone else should be doing it, but unfortunately for them, they're not. If you had invested just a lazy couple of million dollars in NVIDIA five years ago, well, today you'd have hundreds of millions of dollars. The stock price of NVIDIA has blown up in an absolutely insane way. It's gone from $33 five years ago to $1,061 today. That's an increase of 1,025%. NVIDIA, interesting company, you guys, because Tesla used to use NVIDIA chips for its full self-driving. Now, Tesla moved away from the NVIDIA because they thought it, uh, it wasn't correct for them. They could do a better job. However, NVIDIA's artificial intelligence has improved massively since the days of Tesla using their chips. It's gone from being sort of average to leading the pack. Now, I kind of wonder what would have happened if Tesla had have stuck with NVIDIA chips. Who knows? We do know that Tesla's developments in autonomous driving, though, specifically through its autopilot and full self-driving, well, apparently, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Hung has been paying attention. And he's driven Tesla's vehicle with its new full self-driving. He's, he's made some very interesting comments. Now, Jensen's comments did not only commend Tesla's self-driving, he also commended their approach to data learning and model training. He basically he's saying, you know what, guys, if you're not doing it in the way Tesla's doing it, you're not doing it right. I've got to admit, I was a little bit surprised to hear this. I mean, guys, I have thought that Tesla was doing it the right way, but to, to have the CEO of NVIDIA come along and say this, that's very interesting. He actually commended Tesla's entire process for developing a robust self-driving suite. Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars, said Jensen. Um, this is an interview with Yahoo Finance. I, I'm very surprised to hear this. He said, but every single car someday will have to have autonomous capability. It's safer, it's more convenient, it's more fun to drive. Now, speaking of fun to drive, I mean, I don't know about, I think that maybe the context, maybe he meant it in some other way. Maybe it means fun because you don't have to drive. You can just do what you want. You could, um, I don't know, make love, I guess. I mean, I've never thought of that before, but it just popped up in my head for some reason because I always think of stuff like going to sleep or watching TV or having a meeting or, you know, doing things that are productive while you're sitting in traffic. That's cool, right? Anyhow, Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars. Now, I don't know if Jensen, uh, I don't think he has any incentive to say this. I mean, what will he gain by praising Tesla? I don't think there is any anything for him to gain. So he's genuinely saying this and he means it. Now, Teslarati said, Jensen is highlighting the fact that so many car companies in the world are developing at least some form of driver assistance that will improve safety. And eventually all of them, if they don't have full self-driving in their cars, well, they no one will buy them. It'll be like, um, you know, buying a mobile phone without the ability to access the internet. No one does that anymore. I mean, okay, maybe someone, maybe 1%, would you say? What do you reckon? If, you, if you're one of them that doesn't have use the internet on your phone, let me know. But it's just an analogy here that came, popped up in my head because I'm thinking this is kind of a new paradigm. This is what Tony C was telling us. You know, he's saying every car will be full self-driven and it'll change everything. Everything will change. And Tesla's new RoboTaxi is kind of embracing that concept by saying, do we need a massive... Will most people use a big car? Do most people need an SUV? No, they don't. They, most trips are not... An SUV isn't needed. Most trips, a big car isn't needed. Whether these features... Um, you know, whether manufacturers can have uh, full self-driving is key here, guys. And this could mean that even though even though China has a big advantage right now in terms of their ability to manufacture EVs at incredibly low prices, they do have a big advantage. Their battery technology, advantage, uh, motors, uh, pretty much everything when it comes to EVs 
advantage, software advantage, except Tesla. So can Tesla counteract China? Now, a lot of people believe that China will be manufacturing more than 95% of the world's cars by 2040. That might be an exaggeration, but it's scary still when you think about what could happen, what China has done to the manufacturing industry in every other area except automotive. And they're going after it. They're willing to make a loss until they capture it. And the US realizes that. So that's why there's a 102% tariff now on Chinese-made electric cars to try and prevent the Chinese from taking over America's automotive industry. But the thing is, while some companies are developing hands-free driving programs, they're only using cameras and sensors. How they are capturing data is the evidence some companies need to determine how robust they can actually be. In other words, these companies, other Tesla's rivals, they will need to have evidence that their autonomous driving systems are safe or safer, safe enough um, that they can be approved. And because Tesla has had so many fails, what, what happens, all right? You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail, you fail. You get up again, you get up again until finally you can run. Right? And finally, you can run without failing. So Tesla does have an advantage in that sector. We've criticized the absolute crap out of Tesla for failing, but eventually it's the person who fails over and over and over that actually does succeed in the end. Tesla is using video to capture the data it needs to make its self-driving program more robust and accurate, and it's closer to fully self-driving than it's ever been before. And there's a video of that, guys, that I shared on the channel recently, Holmar's blog, I mean, Holmar's Homas, they shared that on their, their, their YouTube channel. And I watched that video and I saw that there was 44 interventions on the Mercedes-Benz with its so-called autonomous driving. What a, what a joke, because that, that Mercedes-Benz had to follow the Tesla. If the Tesla drove away, it, it, it would turn off full self-driving. It has to follow another car. There's all these parameters. There's like 50 different parameters. If it goes over a certain speed, if it goes under a certain speed, it turns off. Uh, if, if, you, if it doesn't follow, it turns off. And even then, it still tried to literally kill the drivers on 44 separate occasions. So Mercedes-Benz, even for all the billions they've spent into this technology and for all the credit they're getting from the automotive industry, their, their autonomous driving is, it's terrible. I mean, it's shocking. Guys, there is better autonomous driving in like cheap Chinese cars than that. Hung from NVIDIA is supporting what Tesla's doing. He's saying that the type of autonomous driving, the type of training of their neural nets, he says it is now very well known, very well understood that learning from video directly is the most effective way to train these models. I mean, if you've got NVIDIA CEO saying it is now very well known, very well understood that learning from video directly is the most effective way to train these models. Basically, that vindicates everything Tesla has been doing and to some degree vindicates Musk's decision to fire at least, I believe, 10 to 15% of Tesla staff. And to now, they're now rehiring, not rehiring, but they're now listing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands of jobs in artificial intelligence and robotics. According to data released by Tesla, Tesla's autopilot suite is one of the safest ways to operate a car. Tesla said it recorded one crash yesterday, this news was released, for every 7.63 million miles driven on autopilot, making it prone to an accident less than one-tenth of the frequency of the US average, which was every 670,000 miles. Now, Tesla's autopilot is not full self-driving. It's nowhere near as good. So I want to know, how often have Tesla's cars crashed on full self-driving? Well, here's the thing. Over the last few months, I haven't heard of it happening at all. That's impressive. Thanks for watching.